So our final race from Carlisle is race 35. As the starters all as chase qualifier leg six over two miles six and a half furlong. So Eke and Ben for Martin Leadham is number one. Jadawa Stefano for James Shea. Rainbow Italia for Martin Leadham. Media Agency for Paul Rhodes. Muttley for Stu Gray. Magic Girl for David Hooley. Sam Vino for Stu Gray. Monumental Madness for Paul Rhodes. Jazzy Doll Stall for James Shea. And more Cat Gray and Victorian Elfall. Make up 11 for Thomas Rogers. Starters got him away. There's two miles, six and a half furlongs. Last race here from Carlisle. Get to the first of the 18. Ooh, well he jumps it. He's going to be led by Victorian Elfhorn, Jadawi Stefano, Thomas Rogers, and Jamie Shea. Third place is the first of Martin Leadham's horse, Ekan Byrne, which moves over towards the row as they go over the second. He'll go over that couple of slow jumps from Sam Bino and Muttley. Jazzy Dole stall just at the rear. So it's Jadawi Stefano that takes it up now by a good couple of legs. Ken Ben and Victoria Nail Force to get to the third, jumps it well. Just as the remainder. up. So James Shea, Jadawi Stefano gets to the small ditch, takes it well. So the 3 4. It's Jadawi Stefano that leads by about 4 or 5 from Ken Burn and Victoria Nail Force. Now why does Sam Vino, on a poor slow jump there by Jadawi Stefano, has allowed Ekem Bern to get within two lengths. Takes second on his own. And they're followed through by Victoria Nelfall and Jazzy Doll Stall. And that's San Vino. Sandwich in uh, Monumental Madness and Media Agency. Muttley on the inside against the Rao. And a length or so back to Rainbow Italia. And Morcock, Morcat Grey and Magic Girl. Bringing up the rear as they go over the six. They will take that well. Usual David Hooley horse at the rear at this moment. As you know, as we come into the final furlong, and when it matters, I'm sure it will be there or thereabouts. All on a bit of dive there. Oh, we've lost one as well. Muttley's gone. Unseated his rider. Lucky for me. Still got Sam Bino in here. But it always Stefano. Been a bit sticky with his jumping. Still leading though, but just a couple to Monumental Mantis. Monumental Madness, which po no pokes his nose into second. Although he's got Jazzy Doll Storm and Victorian Elfal for company. And up against the fences, I can burn for Martin Leader. Make the ninth, so they're halfway through the fences now. And we're still being led by Jadawi Stefano. And the Paul Rhodes horses, Monumental Madness and Media Agency. And they've got to Victorian Elfal and Jazzy Doll Storm for company. So pushing through now is more Cat Grey, and then the first of the leader horses up against the fences there, Cam Ban, followed through by his stablemate Rainbow Italia. San Vino on his outside, and then pushed along a little bit towards the rear is Magic Girl. Another loose horse for company, which will be Muttley. So with a mile and a half as they travel downhill, another nine fences to take. It's Jadawi Stefano that still leads us by about three to Monumental Madness, moves into second on his own. Race fast downhill now. Here at Carlisle. Still bringing up the rear is Magic Girl. And now he's managed to overtake the loose horse. So Jadawi Stefano. By a couple. Might have all the horses. Again, Bear, Monumental Madness, Media Agency, Morcat Grey, Victorian Elfful. You've got Jazzy Door, Stall, Rainbow Italian, San Vino, about a length away. And Magic Girl has managed to get him self back onto the end of the pack. We'll go over the tenth. Really poor jump there, I think, by Jazzy Dole Stall. Actually more cat grey is the offender. So as we get down to the final miles, they go over the eleventh, so seven from eight from home, and it's Jadawi Sistano being joined by Ekan Ben and Victorian Elfal. Just only think of winning the one that's making good ground up and progress through the pack is Magic Girl. Oh, we've lost the leader. The leader's gone. Jadawi Stefano didn't make a mistake there. Lucky didn't bring uh, down Sam Vino. Had to make a bit of a dodge for it. So up front now, that's left again. Bear in the top weight. Leads by about four to Victorian Elfall and Rainbow Italia and more Cat Grey making up ground again as they get to the 14th. Better jump. Oh, poor jump there by the rear by Sam Vino. Some of these uh, horses are not particularly jumping well here. So we come down to the 15th. Four from home, 
for five furlongs to run. It's a can burn that still leads us. From Warcat Grand, Victorian Elfall for Thomas Rogers. Jazzy Doll Stall for James Shane moves up on the outside, but the one bursting through, as we thought, would be Magic Girl. So they come to the ditch. They both leaders both jump it well. So it's Ekan Burn going to give way to Magic Girl now. And the Dave Hooley horse just swings on by. Look at this. He's just pulling away from the rest of the field now. So it's Magic Girl. Gets over 16th. Jumps it well. A little bit slow. Ekan Burn and Victorian Elford. And the only thing going to get else is going to get back into this. But it's Magic Girl. We've also lost Monumental Madness. So inside the two and a half. It's Magic Girl from Ekan Burn trying to fight back. Victorian Elford. More Cat Ray. Rainbow Italia. A couple of poor jumps. Magic Girl didn't get over it well. And a land. Ekan Burn to take it back up. Inside the final two. It's Ekan Burn from Magic Girl. Victorian Elfall running on Rainbow Italia. They get to the last. Poor jumps by Rainbow Italia has allowed the Ekan Burn still to stand front. He's pulling away again inside the final furlough. On the outside, here comes his stable mate, Rainbow Italia. Ekan Burn from Rainbow Italia. It's going to be a 1 2 for Martin Leadham. Ekan Burn still holding on to it here from Rainbow Italia. Rainbow Italia, Ekan Burn, doesn't matter. Ekan Burn takes it comfortably. And fast finishing Sam Vino. A top weight winning that. Alex Jerry, you've got that handicap wrong. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. But if Ekan Burn's taken that off top weight, let's pump him up another ten pounds. So Ekan Burn takes it from Rainbow Italia as a one two for Martin Leader. And they were a good three, four lengths away from Victorian Elfo in third. Sam Vino was fourth. So Oh, one two for Martin Needham gets both qualified. Victorian Elf for Tom Rogers also goes to the final, as well as Sam Vino for Stu Gray. Magic Girl for David Hooley should have won it, but came in fifth.